Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was asking about welding text and kerning text when it's not a uh, cursive font. So if you wanted to weld all this together, there's two ways to look at it. it all depends on what you're going to do. I always like to left click, right click, so you can just see the outline. And then you've got it all selected. You need to go to Control K to break them apart. And you need to do that before you convert them into curves for several reasons. But then you could just set your nudge factor on like maybe a quarter of an inch and you could curve, do them like this and then get them where you wanted or let's back up before we broke them apart. And while there's still a text, you can grab the shape tool and right here you can kind of weld and get them all spaced out some of them aren't going to be touching yet, and some of them are going to be touching too much. So what you could do is just kind of look at it like that T is not touching. But then we can control K it and break it to apart, and then grab those outer layers and nudge them over ever so slightly. And instead of getting that T too close, we can grab them all now and go up to object and convert them to a curve. And then let's zoom in here a little bit. And then you can take your shape tool and grab those. Well, there's a node from the D right there. So we'll select that node, hold down the shift key and select that node. And then start moving them over. And then when you get uh, a little bit in the movement, hold down the control button and it'll be an even uh, text or an even line. And then all you have to do is grab your weld tool so with all that selected we can go right here to weld and then weld all those spots now the l doesn't to me doesn't really look like an l but it's just this particular font and you can always prove that it's done by doing something like that now there's another way to look at that and if we back up a little bit and you could uh, and all depend on how you, what you're going to do with this let me Tell you what, let me, instead of backing up, let me just type this out again. And as a woodworker and a metal worker, and you want all the text to be together, one thing you can do is left click, right click. And the reason you want to weld something, if you want to cut it out and it stay together, and then we need to go into object and convert them to a curve. But before we do that, we need to break them apart, control K. And there's a reason for that. And I'll show it in just a second. So we'll go to object and convert them to a curve. And then just take a line, get your rectangle tool and draw you a box, make it as thin as you can possibly make it and still look okay. And I'm not going to take the time to make it perfect, but you just want a little bit of the and then grab it all and weld it. And now you have the text looks more like a text because the L is going to look better to me anyway. But let's, the, while ago I said you need to break them apart first because <clears throat> if we take this and this is still a, whoop, whenever you have your smart fill tool, you want to click off of it. So this is still a text. If we convert it to a curve first and then go control K, you know, we'll bring in our bar and then grab it all. Watch what happens to the inside of the D. Go up to weld and we'll weld it. The inside of the D disappears. So you need to break it apart first because that's going to break that part of the D away from the other part. So just kind of do it in that order and you'll be good. And if you've already gone too far with a lot of words, you can go here and nudge that out. Let me set my nudge factor on something bigger, uh, point half of an inch. N try to grab the inside of the D and just nudge it out of the way. And then you can grab all this and weld it and you can nudge that right back up. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.